Hello, welcome back. It's day 89 and in the New Testament we're in Luke chapter 8. And um, this is probably quite a well-known passage, a well-known parable, the parable of the sower. Quick bit before we get there. I love, again, that Luke takes the time to mention the women, not just mention them, but to draw out this is who they were, really honouring them. Different backgrounds, different people, but they're, he really wants to honour the fact that they're part of um, the people that were, that were around Jesus, that were ministering with him. They were supporting his ministry throughout their own means. So there we go, Luke again championing the women. And then, as I say, we come on to uh, this uh, well-known passage, the parable of the sower. Jesus tells the parable and his disciples ask him about it. And then Jesus says what might seem this quite cryptic thing. He talks in parables so that people, though seeing, they may not see and though hearing, they may not understand. And in part, what Jesus is getting at, I think, is he's sort of saying that this is going to require some effort. If people kind of want in on this, they're going to have to wrestle with this a bit. See, it's not hard for people to stand around Jesus and watch him perform a miracle. That's quite nice, quite entertaining. But he's saying, actually, kind of, as, as you kind of are drawn to the kingdom, there comes a point where it's going to take a bit of effort. And we probably found that in our own life, that they're, we're attracted to Jesus, but actually continuing to walk with Jesus and work it all out takes a bit of effort, takes work on our part. Um, but anyway, then let's just quickly go back to this whole thing of the parable, because it tells the story, the parable that there's the seed, there's the, the seed that falls on the path, there's the seed that falls on the rock, there's the seed that um, it kind of comes up with the thorns, and then the seed that kind of is in the good soil. And he talks about the fact, you know, the one on the um, path was eaten up by the birds, and he talks about the fact that the devil basically snatches this away. And there's the seed on the path that withers, um, um, and that it needs roots. Um, and then there's the seed that uh, falls amongst the thorns and it gets choked as it's trying to uh, come up. And then there's the seed that falls into good soil and a great crop is produced. And just a couple of things to reflect on that. If we don't want the seed, the good word of God, the, the word of God that is meant to go deep into our lives and produce fruit um, and a good crop, what do we do about that? How do we guard against some of those other things? One thing is to say, so the one that the devil comes and, and is able to peck off, the trouble with that seed is it wasn't able to go deep, it was on the path. So we've got to take God's word and not just not just be reading it and getting through and tick, done that day, but we've got to allow it to soak into us and to go deep into us. We've got to hide God's word in our heart, ruminate on it, think on it, dwell on it, pray into it. And then it will go deep and it can't be taken away. And similarly then, we don't want it to wither as it comes up. We don't want it to be light and superficial. We've got to give it roots. We've, it's got to go deep, but it's kind of got to mean something. It's got to be rooted in our lives, in our actions. It's got to be outworked in some way. That's how we root it. And then um, there's the, 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 the seed that gets choked as it comes up. And, it, and Jesus is very specific, saying that it's choked through worries. What do we do with our worries? And, our, and it said getting taken up with worldly pleasures. We keep focusing on Jesus. We give him our worries. Cast your care on him. And then if we do those things, those seed is going to go deep and it's going to produce fruit. So don't just allow that seed today to be scattered into your life. Let it go deep and it will produce a good crop. Have a good day. See you soon. Bye.